Hey, it's James here from Systems Matter. A quick walkthrough of exactly how we're gonna use this email management board. Because basically spending time in your inbox means that you're working on a reactive basis. And frankly, we get stuck in there. We are receiving emails that change our priorities and throw us off our focus. And it's really not an effective way to be working. And the solution here is to have a separate space you work where you manage your emails um, and you have a lot more control over it. So the first thing we need to think about is, of course, how do we get our emails into this board? A couple of ways. First one we want to show you is the email to board email address, which you have associated with this board. So you just click on show menu. You can see the email to board settings. Click on that and you'll see a, a unique email address, which is because it's got all of these weird numbers and digits. So all we do is copy that email address. When we head over into Gmail, we'll see this email right here, which we would just then forward using that address that we've copied. So we paste that in and send the email, and that's being sent directly to our email management board. And almost instantaneously, when we go over, we'll see that email pop up. There it is. Open that up, and you'll see the description of the card is is the body of the email. You've got everything there that previously was in your inbox. You can have a look through the email, determine what the action is associated to it, and the best practice is to give the name of the card basically be the action that you're going to take. So in this case we would say reply to Ben, read his new book. That's now an action. And you can use labels if you'd like to uh, categorize things further and say this is an urgent email that I need to reply to. I'll tag it accordingly. And at the same time, I will also assign a due date because it's an urgent email. It needs to happen tomorrow at 12 p.m. Now that is in there and it's all tagged and ready to go. Now there is another way, well, there's a couple of other ways actually to get your emails in. If you're a Google Suite user, there's the Trello Gmail add-on, which you'll need to enable on your domain. And that simply lives in your in your G, in your Google Suite Gmail um, inbox, and it's an extension that you'll see pops up, and you're able to add cards directly into Trello without having to email them over. For a personal account, there's a very similar extension that you can get from the Chrome Web Store. It's called Gmail to Trello. You simply install that, and you'll see it ends up in your in your toolbar up here. In terms of what it looks like in your inbox, it's this little extension right up here. And when you click on that, it'll open up the email. It's not the most visually appealing, but it certainly does the job. So the way we would do this is we would add a label, again, urgent. Here you'll see that the appropriate Trello board has been chosen. Again, the columns, so we have the take action, waiting, and done. This was a take action, and we are creating a new card. Again, we could put a, a date in there and we could say that it has to happen at 12 o'clock. And all we would now do, if you wanted the images and attachments, you would tick there, head over there, and it's also being sent to Trello and that's done. If we go over to our account, that one's popped up as well. And again, we would just give it the title of the actual associated action. Now, of course, the beauty of Trello is seeing your work move along and get done. That's the beauty of being able to drag those cards. So if I did send the email to Ben and I was waiting on a reply from him, I could move it over to this column. And finally, when we are done with it and the conversation is finished, move it over to, to the done column. And you can either leave it there to have a reference of, of everything that's been dealt with, or you can just hit C and that card is archived and disappeared. And that is really the simplicity of this system. You get your emails in, you know exactly what to do with them, they move through the phases of the management process, and you get rid of them thereafter. So I hope that's all clear. Any questions on how to use the board, or any of the, the extensions, or the, the email address, don't hesitate to give us uh, an email on james at systemsmatter.com. Bye for now.